Hey guys, like this is the fifth recording, so I'm gonna make this quick. We got a new Goosebump book. Okay, bye. Anyways, stupid joke. Today's video topic is credit to Nightmare Fueled Entertainment. Go watch them, they're amazing Goosebump YouTubers. Sorry, I stole your idea from a poll, post, whatever. Community post on YouTube. How are I oh, for you? How would I write a goosebump for you guys? I'm gonna be dead serious with you. I I love the goosebump movies. Yay, big surprise. Big 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 surprise. My gigantic fucking surprise. I mean I'll tell you never shocker, I like family guy. Ooh big soccer. Um Morty. <laughs> I smell your blood. Anyways, now today's video topic. Like I said, how would I read this one free? No, obviously. Like I said, I do like the Gizmo movies, but I would tweak it. Gizmo so free, like don't do Gizmo two again. So we're plot okay, but just do something different. I had a dream one one time about Gizmo free, and you know what? I said, this looks like shit. It's on Halloween again. And I'm like, oh, it's a dream. Or was it the future? Sony, I thought you learned from your mistake. No more jummy bears. Walking skeleton props. Sure, Sloppy was there. So were some weird ass fucking gummy bears. Jack o' lanterns. Like, none of those were good monsters. But, let's see. But what, what, what's what's defeat that dream and you make a real Goosebump free? This one's free. The end, I guess. Um, so let's let's say let's let's let's, let's go from like a list of things. Starting off with number one. Let's base, let's name out the first thing I really want. First two things. These are two really short things. Chim Dacobis or Brandon Dorman, mostly Chim Dacobis, should design the cover art for the poster. The poster art. Brandon Dorman can do his own designs, so that's something he can do. So Brandon Dorman is included, because he done more of the newer stuff. But Jim Jacobus must be included for most of them. Brandon Dorman can do a few, or he can help out with They know they can collide. Um, and, Aussie fan, if I were in charge, you would be hired the day it gets announced. Like, you want to be that nerdy science teacher? Okay, you went, you that creepy, sadistic, murderistical, maniac... I bet she, I should be in a mental asylum in that like, science teacher. You need to learn about science, take a speaker, and do what the fuck you want with a boy or something. Nothing's less in there. Oh shit, it's free fruit. Yeah, like I said, be in the mental asylum, a motherfucking uh, math teacher, but. Anyways, yeah, that, that, that's the that, that's top three things I just thought I'd mention out there. Let's get into the real juicy stuff. So here's free, like, free basic things. Now we're gonna make this quick. Like, real quick. Go have to pee, I'm sure. Through open mouth. Sorry for number three. Goosebumps free should be a lot darker. Obviously inspired by the Goosebumps second draft, second draft script. Don't know what that is, go to Aussie Fan. No, just search up Goosebumps Second Draft Ship. Search, go to click on Aussie Fan's video, Goosebumps Aussie Fan, and go to his go go, go to the about section and uh, I don't know whatever the description there we go. I'll click the link to you know what's true. And here is Foss. He talks about it a little. If you don't watch the full video, if you want to you know hear what actually happens, it's like a script for most it's like the entire Goosebumps movie, but it wasn't the real one. It wasn't the one we got. Since, like, here's a few things, like, okay, spoiler words, skip ahead a few seconds, like, just skip ahead a few times. More praying mantises, there was multiple. Sloppy had, like, gig had superpowers, of course, like, more prominent ones. There were more monsters, Cuddles, the Beast from the East, I think Amazo was there. Amazing, automatically great. Um, one of them's destroying gardens, those are some of the things Ozzy Fan mentioned. All those things. Hell yeah! Mmm! Fucking love it. Anyways, 
And also, you know, cuss words being thrown around, around there. Oh my god, I would cuss words in this movie. Come on, Blumhouse, do it already. Anyways, I, they can't just do it, but they gotta get the rights to make a Goosebump horror movie. I wouldn't mind seeing Slappy uh, <laughs> Slitting Up Throats, you know? <laughs> Anyways, now, the next thing, as we said, Goosebump Tree, Goosebump Tree should be a lot darker. But what else? What what could, what could possibly top that? Like, yeah, that sounds like a perfect Christmas movie. Well, it depends. It doesn't depend on if it's dark. It depends on how they man manage that with the monsters. What specifically? Which specific monsters? We're talking about new monsters. So you can. I am absolutely fine. Bring back every single monster from the first Christmas movie. Every single one. Maybe you could get rid of a few if you need, like, oh, yeah, it could, I, I don't care. But if you get rid of a few, replace them with some new ones. And you're obviously gonna add more to the pile. Like, add Curly! Curly! Fucking add Curly. He wasn't in, like, an official Goosebump book. Stein, it's fine, it's Slappy old book. Curly fights Slappy. Curly, cur I don't know, Curly Land, fuck it. Make Curly Land. Curly Springs, I don't know. Curly book series, man, you f Sorry. Sorry, Sina. Curly book series, man. It's a great idea about Curly. No. He's like manipulative motherfucking skeleton dude who likes to honk honk your homeboy. And it would be awesome. And more than just one of the books, he could have a gigantic fight scene with Sloppy. Like the final book, the series. Final Goosebump book ever. Anyways, off topic. Curly. The Horrors. Han Mask 2. And the first Haunted Mask should be, I mean, they should have big prominent roles, which we'll get into a minute, because that's actually your final topic, prominent roles. Um, it just references, okay? Just add, just throw in everyone, every single character you can. Shrunken Head? Yeah. I'm looking up here right now. Cuddles. We'll look over here. Um, let's see what we got. Oh, the Phantom of the Auditorium. The ghost next door. Well, actually, <laughs> um, spoiler alert. Maybe add more of the execution to give him a bigger role. Mr. Wood. Mr. Fucking Wood. Okay. Is it too hard? Okay. Goldie. Spoiler alert. <laughs> if y'all don't know who that is, don't start saying Goldilocks. Yeah. <laughs> Just joking. But add some give yourself characters. I mean, I know we had Fifi the Vampire Poodle. But that and we had, I think I think the bug-eyed aliens for from yeah, Zapped in Space. I know that I, I'm pretty sure I can't remember. I don't think those are supposed to be body squeezers because those are body freezers. How, sorry, I haven't read Zapped in Space yet. I'll see. I'll see. I'll figure it out. But Trapped in Sink Ice Swamp that was in there. So add more books like it, like um, The Deadly Experience of Doctor Eek. We add a reference like Batwing Hall. That could be a like a mall. Yeah. That could be that would, that would be awesome, or Carnival of Horrors reference, or a, a rogue alligator. Like that, actually, that's one of the endings in the book. You can you know a rogue alligator from you know yeah that would be awesome. Open that book, giant alligator comes out. You know, giant fucking croc, whatever. You it would be absolutely awesome, phenomenal. Just different Gizmo monsters, absolutely terrifying ones too. Like some of them are some of the more scary ones didn't get added. Do in the east. Sure, they may not look like the scariest thing you've ever seen. Might be, you know. I'm not saying they aren't. Adam! Add them. Not Adam. Like Adam's family. Da 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 da. 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 Da 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 Besides Fifi. Fifi. No, no, sorry. Rip. Rip the cat. Yeah, rip. Sorry. Let's go into what I just said earlier. Monsters and characters getting prominent roles. Jack Black? No, we're not talking about... No, Jack Black's probably going to be cast in First Goose on 3, obviously. But 
Now I'm not. I don't. I don't think I have too much to say in what I want Goosebumps Free to be about exactly. Do I want them going into the books? Do I want them coming out, but in a different scenario? Like, it is a giant big city that could really change it. It's not a suburb, suburban small town. It's a gigantic city. There's military involved. But that would make it a little weird, so that would be a little different. Or if we do it so it doesn't seem like there's anything going on and it's just kind of weird. Like the whole town's empty. Or it's literally this horror town. It's literally run by Goosebumps Monsters. Maybe, maybe. But I'm thinking most obviously going to Goosebumps books. And, but that's not actually what we're talking about. I'm just saying. Cover that up real quick. Now, what I actually want to talk about. Goosebumps Monsters and their roles. Monster Blood specifically. Now, I've already said this enough. I want a scene so badly where Monster Blood is eating lunches or food from cafe the cafeteria or, you know, some sort of cafe area at a workplace or maybe at a, a pizza place or some sort of restaurant, maybe. The bother to everyone and they have to stealthily get around it without alerting it that hey, we're here, and you could just fucking eat us. Which would be terrifying. Like, I hate the blobs. They're actually one of my biggest fears, not gonna lie. Uh. That's a good one. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible person. And, either way, if you just do that, do that one scene, that would be perfect. And not to mention all the other things you could do. The haunted mask. Maybe one of them tries on the haunted mask, joking around, and they actually can't get it off. Maybe that could have some sort of plot. Or, I don't know. Maybe add horrors and make there a horror chase scene. I think, I think this one's free. Maybe something Horrorland related. It could be a Horrorland book. I mean, they literally mentioned a book from the Horrorland series. Um, we'll just show hamsters in the first Goosebumps movie. Or Go Eat Worms. Which, none of those came out. There were no giant hamsters or little hamsters or even the cuddles. And there were no gigantic fucking worms. Okay? So, I didn't mention that. And maybe you could throw in, you know, you could throw in some old monsters. I am um, Bomb Snowman. I, I, it's bound to happen again, guys. It's bound to happen again. It, it's gotta be. It's gotta. I, I'm not saying it won't, but making their them some new gnomes. Replace the gnomes with Hudo. I'm thinking you can either make them the Annihilators this time, which would be awesome because they didn't get a big enough role in the first one, in my opinion. And yeah, that would be really awesome to see. Or maybe you could have seen maybe werewolf woods something like that a pack of werewolves but that would be a little different hold on let me think here for a second i'm trying to think of a replacement lawn gnome scene guys for our new lawn gnomes like sure they can be in the movie but just don't put too many like they kind of met they did that pretty good in the goosebumps too and i did like the gummy bears just don't bring that gummy bears no thing and no goosebumps two monsters actual goosebumps monsters guys i don't know how much we need to tell you guys, you fucked up Goosebumps too, because there's no Goosebumps monsters, like barely any. Hold on, I'm trying to figure it out. Monster Blood 4, there we go. It multiplies, okay? Monster Blood 4 is a perfect replacement, and I'd love to see a whole scene dedicated to that. So, just do, if you do Goosebumps again, make it right, okay? That's all I wanted to say. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Before you say that, I just want to say thank you for watching this channel, guys. It means a lot to me. And talking about Goosebumps Free, it actually might happen. And Goosebumps is actually, you know, Goosebumps is actually getting a TV show reboot is absolutely shocking. And I would, and also, I just wouldn't be at this milestone without you guys. I'm at 338, um, not free, 238 hundred subscribers. That's a milestone, I guess. It's a it's a decent amount. But like and subscribe. I want to hit 300 before the end of August, possibly, or the end of September. By my birthday, I want to hit. It, it would be my it would be my dream. Thousand subs, okay, guys. See you guys in the next one.